What is going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to another Beginner's Guide Tutorial with your boy CJ Farms right here on FS22. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to manage your cattle. Now, there's been a lot of questions about this, and people are having a hard time figuring this stuff out, uh, including myself. I had to do some testing uh, to really figure this out. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to show you uh, what I know from what I've learned from testing and experience. Uh, so let's get right into this. So in, to start off with, you're going to need a cow pasture. You guys can see I have three here. I have the small cow pasture, the medium cow pasture, and then the large cow pasture. I believe they're both large, but one holds more than the other, I believe, something like that. But if you go into your store and you go down to others and then go to construction, and then you want to go over to animals and then go to cows, okay? These are going to be, uh, this is one of the main ones right here. This is the small one, and you can right-click on your mouse and move it back and forth like that. It'll, it'll twist your uh, cow pasture like this. Uh, there's one of them. Here's the other one right here that we're going to be working with today. This one is for 254000 The first is 75K. It holds 15 cattle. The second one is 254K. It holds 45 cattle. And the third one is $518,500, and it holds 80 cattle as well. Now... Um, the last one for 722,000, that is an auto feed system. And I haven't done much testing on that yet. So once I do my testing on the auto feed system and how it all works, I'll do a tutorial on the auto feed system inside of this cow pasture right here. But for today, we're going to be working with these three right here. All right. So let's, uh, let's go back out. And so the first thing you're going to need, uh, now there is a difference in what they, um, what they eat and what they intake and stuff on on each pasture now the two that you see over here i believe those are uh, intake the same types of food and all that good stuff but these right here i think uh they don't all produce manure and they don't all produce um slurry so just keep that in mind um the way you'll know if your cow pasture produces slurry is if you go to the side of the building over here on this side You'll have a pipe down just like this with a little icon marker here, and if you go into your um, if you go into your menu, guys, you want to get rid of those icons. Go into your menu, and I believe it's down around general settings. Uh, let's see here, or maybe it's maybe it's game settings. Yeah, right here, guys. Interactive markers. If you just click that to off, hey baby, how's work? You just click that off, guys. You can see it right there kind of disappearing on my screen and then reappearing. But I'm going to leave them on for the sake of this tutorial. But you do not have to leave them on. But I'm going to leave them on. But So if you have a pipe like this on the side of your cow pasture, it is going. That lets you know right there that they do produce slurry, okay? The same with the pasture over here. Um, it also produces slurry. So we're going to start the tour of the cow pastures, starting with the first one here. Um, this right here. Let me get this. Uh, let me get this tractor out of the way so I can give you an official tour here. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. So starting, starting right here. Uh, this is where you're going to get your milk from. Okay. And then right here is where you're going to feed your cattle. This right here is where you're going to give them water. And this right here is where uh, you're going to um, open up your animal dialogue. Now, keep in mind, you have to give them water in this cow pasture, okay? But the other two pastures, you do not have to give them water as they do have a self-water system, okay? So, in the other two pastures, you do not have to worry about that. Uh, but in this one right here, you might want to get you a water tank like I've got over there, which if you go into the store and you go up to uh, tools and then go down to animals... Go down to animals. You will find that water tank right here, guys. That's the kind of water tank you want to get. Also, being the fact you have to have water uh, for this one, you're going to want to get one of these right here. Okay, so if you go back to the store and you go down to others and then go to construction and then you want to go to uh, buildings and then containers, I believe it is, and scroll all the way over, you will see it right here for $3,000. This is your water tank. You can just bring it here and you can rotate it as well and just kind of place it down anywhere you want. Uh, but that's how you get to that. Let's exit back out. All right, so moving on to the tour of the next cow pasture, which is going to be this one right here. Um, this is our medium-sized cow pasture, the one that holds 40. Uh, and this one right here, uh, this is where you open up your animal dialogue. This is where you get your milk from. This in here is where you feed them at. Now, 
I will say this. I do not like the fact that they move the feeding troughs from outside to inside like the triggers. Because I'm going to tell you guys, when you bring trailers into here, I would recommend doing this with a feeding wagon. Because if you bring a trailer full of silage, total mixed ration, grass, hay, whatever you're bringing here to feed to them or straw, your trailers, when they tip up, they're going to tip up and hit the roof. So if you are going to use a trailer, I recommend using a trailer that has a grain. I'm sorry, that, that tips from the side. That way your trailer doesn't hit the top of the um, roof here. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and open up. And these doors do open here on the on each side of the, of the building. And then, of course, over here, guys, is where your slurry is going to come out. The other one's pretty much the same thing. This is going to be a bit of a lengthy tutorial, guys, to so just stick with me. <laughs> this one right here is pretty much the same thing right here. Uh, open up your animal dialogue here. And then this is where you get your milk. Again, inside is where you will feed your cattle. Now, these are pretty good-sized pastures. And again, these doors right here can be open and closed as well. So we're just going to leave that open. And again, guys, over here is where you're going to get your slurry. Now, what's the first thing we need to do? Um, before we uh, start feeding our cattle, we need to buy some cattle. So let's go to the first pasture right here. And this is going to be our small pasture. We're going to go in here. And now keep in mind, if you want to remember how many they hold, you just go back into your store. Go to construction, uh, go over to animals, go to cows, and you click on this one right here. It will tell you it holds 15 cattle. The next one holds 45, and this one holds 80. Okay, so remember this one holds 15 cattle. All right, so let's exit out of that. So we're going to open up our animal dialogue right here. And when you go in here, uh, you will have to click on it, double click on it pretty much to get one of your cattle. Now, I will, I'm only going to get one bull. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on him. Now, keep in mind right here what you see here, this fee the, the says the minus $100. That is just charging you a transportation fee. So say if you went to uh, the animal dealer, right? If you went to the animal dealer, and I'll show you where that is. If you go to your map, uh, depending on what map you're on, if you go to your map and you go up to the animal dealer right here, if you go to the animal dealer and pick up your cattle and bring them back, you're not going to get that $100 uh animal fee per animal because that hundred dollars is per animal so just kind of keep that in mind guys okay so let's open up that animal dialogue again and we're going to double click on this right here and again like i said that is just a transportation fee so if you transport them from the animal dealer to back to the cow pasture you're not going to have that fee okay and i'm only going to get one of these and i'm going to click buy all right now we're going to go down to the holstein cows right here and i'm going to double click it now on these since we can only we're only allowed 15 cattle I'm only going to put in. Um, I'm only going to put in three of these. Okay, we'll put in three of these, and then in the next one is going to be the Angus. All right, double click again. Put in three of those, and then limousine right there. Double click again, and we will put in three of those. So if we exit out, we now have cattle inside of our cow pasture. Okay, now over to the medium-sized cow pasture. We're going to buy cattle for this one. All right, we're going to open up this animal dialogue. Now here you can buy more because remember this one holds, what was it, 45? So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go all the way, we're gonna, we're gonna start with the limousines here. We'll double click on that. I'm gonna put like, uh, we'll put 10 of these in there. We'll put 10 of those guys in there. All right, and then the Angus, of course, same thing. Now the cool thing is the last number you selected, it'll, it'll be selected again when you go to the next cattle. So for example, where I selected the limousine and click 10 cattle when i go to the next one it's going to be automatically on 10 so just keep that in mind so you don't accidentally like rush through it and click it and end up buying 10 cattle that you don't need or want all right so we're going to click on that go to the holstein same thing get 10 of those uh and then up to the bull which i only want one of these so i'm going to take it down to one all right and click on that all right so now we have cattle in our medium-sized pasture there it goes right there they are. And it's cool because these cows actually like lay down in the pasture and so it's so, so it's really cool how they a lot of stuff that they did. But the one of the things I don't like guys is that they they move the feeding triggers from outside to inside. I don't like that at all. It just it makes it a little bit inconvenient in my opinion, but that's just my opinion to each is their own. So moving over to the bigger pasture right here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to open up the animal dialogue. Now, keep in mind, this one holds 80 cattle, okay? 80 cattle, okay? So, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna get one bull here. I'm going to get one bull. And then we're going to move on to the Holstein. And we're going to put uh, just 10 of these in here again. I don't need to have a lot for, for the tutorial I'm doing. Just remember, when you go to the, 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 the animal you want, just double double click on it, okay? Double click on it. 
for it will not highlight all right so now that we got those in there they're right here guys a 50 dollar fee per cow that is per cow okay and that's just a transportation fee if you go to, like i said go to the animal dealer pick them up you will not have that fee so just kind of keep that in mind okay you can save yourself a few a few bucks um so with that being said now that we've got we've got our cattle uh in all pastures what we're going to start out with now is the small pasture okay so um actually before we get into that there's one more thing i do want to point out now if you want your cows to produce manure all right we have these manure heaps right here, but there is a certain manure heap from the certain section of this game that you have to get, all right? So if you go into your store and go down to other and go to construction, all right, and you will see if you go to buildings and silos, and if you scroll over, there's going to be a manure heap here, okay? But that's not the one you want. Do not get the manure heap from the silos. You want the manure heap from the silo extensions okay so right here this is the one you want make sure it's from the silo extensions if it's not it's not going to work okay so if you get the one from silos just say we get one from silos and we place this down next to a cow pasture it's not going to work now silo extensions that's the one you want go to silo extensions select the manure heap bring it out and again you can right click and rotate it just like this now just put this somewhere near the, near the cow pasture wherever you want to put it at put it somewhere as close as you can to that cow pasture. as you can see it will not work over here and i will show you it says a manure heap needs to be placed next to a barn so that's the difference this is a pasture and this is a barn so if you bring this over here and you can just put it like somewhere over in here or just wherever you want just somewhere close to uh very close to, as close as you can get it to the pasture and then you just place it down uh but that's how you uh get your cattle to produce manure if you don't want them to produce manure then just don't even put these down but that's how you do it remember guys other you go to your store go to other go to construction buildings and silo extensions is the one you want it's very important to remember that your manure heap to produce manure for your cattle is under silo extensions okay so let's go ahead and exit back out of that guys also keep in mind there's also liquid manure extensions in here that you can put next to the cow pasture as well. Um, but just, just letting you guys know that. So let's exit back out. And now that we got those down, as you guys can see, I got one by this barn. Um, and I've got one over... I know, guys, I got a lot of tractors. And I got one next to this barn as well. So once we start our cows start producing manure, they will come out in this manure heap, okay? Now, what's the first thing I want to do to get productivity from our cattle is we need to feed them. So if you go into your menu and you go down to the cattle right here, you will see that right here, the cow pasture is the small one, okay? And it's going to show you over here the pin information. So conditions is productivity, water, milk, uh, and their food. You can give them total mixed ration, hay, or grass. Now, they do not require straw in the small cow pasture. Uh, don't ask me why. They just They just don't. I think that's kind of... I don't know. It, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me because no matter where a cow is, it's going to require eating straw. They love straw, okay? But in the small cow pasture, guys, on this game, um, they're going to require total mixed ration, hay, or grass, okay? Um, so I don't even know if you can give them silage over. We'll find out. I haven't done a full testing on this yet, but I'm just showing you guys what I've tested so far. Uh, now, over here in this area, this is your, the information for your cow. So this is how much the cow is going to sell worth, right? The, how much the cow is worth right here, which is $60. If you sold the cow right now, it'd be worth 60 bucks. But the thing is, is it's zero months old, okay? Which means it's not going to produce anything. And they got to be a little bit older than that to produce things. And the way you do that is you feed them. You feed them and they grow, okay? So moving on down to the cow barn large. Now, over here, if you go to the cow barn large and click on one of these cows, you're going to notice that in the conditions... It says productivity, milk, straw, and slurry. So you can give them, uh, you can give them straw. Okay, you can give them straw over here, um, and total mixed ration hay as well as grass. Okay, now moving on down to the actual cow barn, the large cow barn right here. Again, same thing. Uh, they produce uh, milk um, and slurry, and you can give them straw. You can give them total mixed ration hay and grass right there. Again. Uh, reproduction age is 18 months so once they reach the age of 18 months they will they will produce another cattle okay that's what that means uh, so with that being said you guys can see everything we have so far it, every, everything's at zero percent and i'm going to show you how to make those numbers move these numbers are very important guys they're very 
very important. So let's exit out and let's start with let's start with uh, our small cow pasture. So again, we're going to go over here and we're going to jump into this tractor. And you guys can see I've already got some water in there. But if you just pull your water tank up to this little this little water fill right here and start filling it, you will see that it starts filling up just like so. All right. And once it fills up, and I'm not going to need much. I don't even need to really fill it all the way up. I could have been fine with what I had. All right. But once you get it, um, I don't know why I always forget to start my engine. I don't know why I do that. But we're going to pull this over here. All right. And we're going to pull this into where the water is right here. The little water, the little uh, water icon, if I can get my stuff straight. Okay. And then once you pull up in there. You will see right there where it says start overloading, okay? That's exactly what you want to do. Oh, the, I'm sorry. I always forget my engine has to be on to operate the machinery. Now, that I'm, I, it's something I got to get used to. So, we're going to go ahead and drain all that water in there. As you guys can see, the water trough there is filling up. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It actually fills up. So, it is full. We're going to move this tractor out of the way. So, we got room for other things. Let's go ahead and move that out of here. All right. And then going over here. And we are going to grab. Um, now, I think I have straw lined up here. But I don't know why. Because they do not. I don't think they require it. I'm pretty sure they do not. So, we are going to start with. Now, what did it say they, they, they could eat? They could eat total mixed ration, right? So, if you, if you ever want to know what they can eat. If you forget, go back into here, guys. And go to the, the cow pasture, whichever one you're looking at. And it will tell you right here that they can they can eat total mixed ration hay and grass. Okay, so that's what we want to feed them. So we're going to jump in here, and this is a trailer full of total mixed ration. So I'm going to go ahead and pull over here, <clears throat> and I think they take a combination of all the food, but we'll find out. So like I said, things are still in testing, and we're going to pull up right here to that little feed icon to where that trailer is, and it should be prompting me here there we go there it is all right so we're gonna we're gonna just let it flow just like that you're gonna see the you're gonna see the food trough start filling up and there it goes and i'm gonna tell you guys total mixed ration uh that will be my next video that i'm making is the video on how to make total mixed ration i haven't made one yet but i will make one on that guys i promise you all right let's go ahead and let's pull out and pull this over here park it and let's grab our next tractor. This is going to be our silage. Now, I don't know if they require silage. Like I said, I'm still testing a lot of this stuff. So that's what we're about to find out. We're going to find out if they actually can eat silage. I mean, I'm pretty sure they should be able to. But it doesn't say anything about it. So we'll find out. We will find out. And let me back this thing in here and make sure I'm in the trigger. Yep, they do not take silage in this one. So just note, the guys, that they do not take silage in the small cow pasture. So let's take this over here and park it. All right. Now, next up, we are going to give them some grass. All right. I believe this is the grass. Is that the grass? Yes, because that's the hay. Okay. So this is the grass. We're going to pull up. And we're going to feed them some grass. Now, if you'll notice when you pull this one in, that it will give you the prompt to feed them. All right. So we're going to pull this in here. Now, you may not be able to give them mixtures in this one. All right. So let, like I said, guys, still test this stuff. Let me go into my animal stats. And let's go up to the small cow pasture. And they do not have any hair grass, but they have all total mixed ration. So why... No more capacity for grass. Okay, so the total mixed ration, I assume, filled them up. Like I said, guys, I'm still in the process of testing a lot of this stuff, and I'm trying to get these tutorials out, so you guys can kind of be my testers, too, and, and ride right along with me. So let's go ahead and pull this out of here, as they do not need any grass, which means they will not need any hay. They will not need any hay. So once total mixed ration goes down a little bit, then then you can go back and you can feed them some, um, some hay and grass, okay? Uh, now, as far as straw goes, they do not require straw in the small pen. But again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test it out. And we're going to go over that way. And I'm going to pull this in there. And we're going to see. 
we are going to see if they, in fact, will take straw. But if they don't, it's okay. That, that's, that's something we've learned. You live and learn, man. You live and learn. Yep, they do not take straw over here. So that is, that is rather weird to me. That is just rather odd. I don't know why they would take that out. Um, I mean, no matter where a cow is, they're going to need grass. They're going to need hay. They're going to need straw. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's rather weird to me. Okay, so let's move on over here to the next barn. We're going to start feeding these cattle right here. So in the next barn, now once we feed all the cattle, we get them fed and all that, I will speed the time up and we will watch our manure produce and our productivity and our milk as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump in this first tractor right here in which we have another trailer of total mixed ration, okay? Now, keep in mind, guys, in here I said that you got to be careful of tipping your trailers up. So what you want to do is right there in your help window where it says tip side and it gives you an option to change it, change that to one either left or right. I'm going to change it to the right. That way my trailer tips up and doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling. So maybe it will not. Now, right here, guys, it gives you the prompt. All right, so go ahead and tip it over. Now, if you tip your trailer over like that uh, to the side, it should not hit anything at all. As a matter of fact, it should be good to go. And they're probably going to take all of that total mixed ration. They're probably going to take every single bit of it because cows are selfish. <laughs> they're fat heifers. <laughs> All right, so there's our total mix ration right there, guys. There we go. We got that taken care of. We're just going to pull this tractor out of the way right here. All right, and now we're going to go back, and before we go back in, we're going to open up our menu and look at our animal stats. So let's go down to the cow barn, um, the cow barn large, all right? This is the one we want right here. So as you can see, uh, wow, it doesn't show them how many total mix ration yet. So maybe we have to well, it showed it immediately on the other one. Why is it not showing it on this one? That's mighty weird. That's mighty weird. It's not showing it on this because the other one shows it. This is not showing it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's put in, let's try to put in some silage. Uh, like I said, guys, uh, you know, we're just going to test it out here and see if they'll take some silage. We'll see. We shall see. They should take silage in here, but don't hold me to it. Do not hold me to it. Yep. Believe it or not, they do not take silage anymore. I, I just. I'm just mind blown by that. I'm mind blown by the changes, you know. I mean, the game is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Giant Software did an amazing job on this game, but just some of the changes I'm just not really liking too much. Um, so let's hop in here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't give them some grass. Let's open that up. And uh, we want to change that to the uh, right. Let's change it to the right. Oh, man. CJ. Goodness, man. Just. Okay, now, grass. We're going to go ahead and give them some grass. You know, I'm thinking that may have been why they wouldn't take it over there. I may have had to tip my trailer, but who knows? Who knows? All right, so the grass is going in. We'll try the other the, the small cow pasture again here in a minute. So we're going to pull this out. And we're going to park it right here. All right, so this one right here, guys, we'll test out again in a minute. I think I might have had to put it on the side of the trailer in order to get it to work. So we'll see. We shall see. Now, next up, um, let's check our animal stats again here real quick. Um, their stuff is not moving. That's got me a bit worried. Okay, sorry, guys. Wrong barn. That is the large one. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's going to be our regular cow barn. Sorry about that. So they're showing their total mix ration at 18,500 liters. <laughs> Jesus. I'm an idiot. Um and then, of course, we just gave them some grass. They got 15,249 liters of that. Next, we're going to give them some hay, okay? So we're going to give them some hay. Hay, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and give these guys some hay. Let's pull this up in here. Now, these animal tutorials can tend to linger out a little bit, guys, just because there's so much to go over. So let's go in here. And again, again, we want to switch that to the side, to the right. And let's see if they can actually take this. They're not going to take the hay now. They're not going to take the hay. Are they not? Are they not going to take it? Uh, let me keep changing it here. See if maybe. Okay. No more capacity for hay. So they are full. Um, that's what's saying. That is. I'm just going by what the game's telling me. So. All right. Let's go ahead and pull out here. All right. And. 
Uh, let's see here. So straw. So I don't know that they require a straw either, but we're going to find out. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure that they require straw. So we're going to, we're going to find out here. Let's take this in and let's go ahead and switch that to the right side here. All right. And there's the straw right there, guys. There goes the straw. So we, we were able to put grass, but no hay, and we were able to put total mixed ration, but no silage. Um, so there we go. They're going to they're gonna take all that straw, guys. They're going to take it all. Like I said, they're selfish heifers. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and pull out. Let's pull this over here. All right, there's that one. Uh, so they are fed up. We got these. Yeah, they're, they're completely fed up. But they are all fed. And there's their straw. You guys will notice that their straw will appear right here, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, it doesn't appear in the pasture anymore like it used to, but it does appear uh, here, and it appears over there. Their food will appear right here just like a feeding trough, okay? And that's what they're going to eat from. Um, even though, in my opinion, I think it should be over there because that's kind of where they're eating from, right? Okay. So anyway... Uh, what do we have in this trailer right here? We have hay. So let's let's go ahead and let's try this uh, this one out again. We're gonna change this from the back to the right, and we're just gonna see here if they'll take any of this hay. But it said a while ago, no more capacity. And let me hit it again. Yep, no more capacity for hay. So, yep, nope. It is completely correct. It is completely correct. So. All right, now moving on to the bigger pasture. I do apologize, guys, that I had the two barns mixed up well ago. So moving on to the bigger one here, um, we're going to go ahead. And um, now if we go into our animal menu, guys, it is the cow large, okay? This one down here, um, it still says they have no hay. I don't understand that. Uh, anyway, um, so cow born right here guys. This is our medium cow born and this is our big one that we're at right now So right now they have nothing. Let's go ahead and fire this up and get these guys fed If I can All right, let's go ahead and get in here and again you want now this time we're going to change it over to the, to the left side Right there but just make sure, guys, when you come in here that your trailers are tipping to the side and not going straight up in the air because if they go straight up in the air, uh, your trailer's going to bounce everywhere. Uh, your tractor's going to bounce everywhere. As you can see right there, man, that cow come running over there, man. He must have been hungry. All right. So, yeah, if you take your tractor straight up in the air, guys, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit the roof. It's going to bounce your stuff all over the place. So uh, let's go ahead and pull right out here. All right, there we go. And next up, next up, we're going to do some silage. Let's see if they actually take the silage. So, and, and a lot of this stuff, it, you know, a lot of content creators that play this are still testing these mods because, you know, the game just came out, I mean, you know, last Monday. So, let's go to the left, open it up. And that unbelievably, believe it or not, unbelievably, they are not going to take silage. That is... Okay, let's get out of here. So I will. I'm not gonna edit none of this out, guys. I want you to see what it, what they take and what they don't take. Um, let's go ahead and hop out right here. All right, and then let's go over here. What do we got in here? This is this is uh, this is hay. So let's go ahead and get this. We're gonna go to the left side of the trailer. We want that tip to the left side. Oh. Pull up just a little bit. And when you pull in, just make sure you're over to the right, guys, or over away from this part where you're feeding them at as far as possible. Because see what it's doing to my trailer? See that? It's lifting it up. Now, that's what's going to happen if your trailer goes straight up in the air, but it's going to be 10 times worse. It's going to bounce everything everywhere. So just, just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and hop out. And we're going to park this right here. And then we're going to go back. Whee! Jump in this one. And this is going to be grass. 
All right, again, let's change it over to the left. Open that cover. All right, now they are gonna take grass. So I don't know why the other ones are not taking grass, but they, they are, they are taking grass, but the other ones are not. So not too sure what's going on with that, but uh, like I said, guys, this is all about testing. It's all about testing. All right, let's hop on out of here. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial, man. Uh, I'm trying to put out as much content for you as I can, and uh, I, I just really am. I, I, I did a mod review yesterday. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put it in the video here somewhere. Is that on? Okay, no, it's not. All right, now let's go back, and last but not least is going to be our straw. Let's go ahead and take this on into the uh, cow barn. All right, and to the left it goes. Now they may not take straw. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, and again, I'm way too close to that rail. It's gonna lift my trailer up again. Yep, and screenshot. <laughs> and there goes the straw. So I think we've got them plenty fed. Um, I think they're all good to go. Now they, they could use some more straw. I can tell you right now by looking at that, right there that they could definitely use another trailer full of straw but i think they'll be okay for right now let's go ahead and hop on out of here and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to speed the time up uh so once i get everything situated guys i'll bring y'all back into the game all right the guys and girls so after speeding up the time um, we're gonna go over here and we're, we're gonna we're actually gonna go in the animal menu here go to the menu and go to animals right here uh, and you will notice that um, their um, food has dropped a little bit um, and their productivity is up to 100%. Now, this is in the small cow pasture. Keep that in mind. Now, if we go to the medium-sized cow born, uh, their productivity has not moved, but they've got 10,000 liters of straw and 2, 000, uh, over 2,000 liters of milk to provide for us. The total mix ration is gone. And the grass is at 6,186 liters. But keep in mind, this is the medium-sized barn. Now, if we go to the big barn, all right, their productivity is at 100%. And the straw in there is 17,000 liters. Uh, they still have 13,000 liters total mixed ration, 18,000 liters of hay, and 18,000 liters of grass. Uh, now, as you can see, the cows have grown. They went from zero months to three months old. Uh, but at 18 months, they will produce another cow. Now, I'm not too sure as to why um, this one right here, I'm not too sure as to why the medium cow size barn does not have any productivity because uh, the cows are at 15 months old. That one's at 21 months old. They should be, let's see here. They should have productivity going on. I mean, they do, but just the productivity line is not up here opposed to if we click on the large cow barn, it's at 100%. So doesn't make a lot of sense to me but let's exit out and let's go ahead and we're going to need a milk trailer here to pull our milk out from the let's see if they produce milk let me see if they produce milk let me go back into here real quick and they have zero liters of milk so it's not going to do us any good to go there um, but if we go down to the the medium sized barn right uh, they have produced 2,000 liters of milk so uh, you're going to need a trailer like this guys if you go into your store and go to tools and then again just go down to animals and then right here guys these two right here are the ones that carry milk now they both these both carry milk and water this is the one i have right here they carry milk and water so you might want to grab uh one to do both uh things this one right here will carry milk and water and you will need either a dolly for your tractor or a semi truck to pull it so with that being said uh, let's exit back out and so it's not gonna do us any good to try and get milk from here because they do not have any ready uh, but in this medium-sized cow barn we're gonna go over here and we're gonna hop into the tractor and we're gonna pull right to that little um, this little spot right here and once you pull in you'll see your help one over to start filling go ahead and click it and it will fill up the milk 31% is pretty much all you get from that. Now, you can take this to like a dairy farm on the map or wherever. Uh, it's going to be a dairy farm that you want to take it to, okay? 
Uh, the next one, the next step is going to be to get out our slurry, guys. So let me set up here for uh, to get a slurry tank out, and then I'll bring y'all back into the video. All right, guys and girls, so you are going to need a slurry tank like this one right here or similar to it. So if you go into your store and go to tools and then just go down to uh, slurry tanks right here by manure spreaders, you can open it up, and right here is the one that I'm using here. Now you can pick any which one you want. Just keep in mind, these right here, these slurry tanks are not for um to sell out of these are storage it is for storage i believe these are storage let me have a look at them yes these are definitely storage and you can also transfer story from one tank to this one so just keep that in mind those are for storage and storage only that those are for so uh, with that being said let's exit out now what we're going to do is we're going to take the slurry tank and we are going to pull around to the other side of this cow pasture uh, to where that pipe is that's where you get your slurry from and if you guys will look inside this manure heap as we pull around you will also notice that there is manure inside there now not much but it's there but it's there it shows that the uh, manure part is working the productivity we're going to pull this right in in here if i can get it in here right and right there it'll say start filling and there you go and 48 percent slurry so there you go guys and it works the same for this barn uh, whatever works for this barn and that barn works the exact same um so uh, again guys a lot of this stuff is still in testing there's still a lot of nicks knacks and bugs that i've seen personally that farm sim 22 uh has in it that giant software needs to work out but that's just my personal opinion uh from what i've seen um, if you want some kind of straw intake machine, guys, if you don't have these trailers accessible, you're going to need some kind of straw intake machine to pull in here and put bells of straw into it and shoot it into the, um, into the cow pasture here. Okay. So what you're going to do is you, the only one available really is this one right here. So if you go into the, into the shop and then go down again, I believe it's to animals and then go over, you will see that here is the, um, the Pro Chop 150 right here. Now, what this does is you can drop bells of uh, straw into here, and that pipe right there um, aims into the cow pasture, and you just shoot the straw in there. So just make sure the pipe is aimed towards the pasture, not outward. So, um, but that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Let's go ahead and check our animal stats. One, let's go ahead and speed up time once again. Let's speed it up just a little bit more, maybe like a whole day, and see what the difference is. All right, let's stop right there. And then let's go back up to animals. And as you can see in the regular cow barn here, uh, straw has went down. Slurry has went down because, um, I'm sorry, the slurry has went up. Total mixed ration. So their food is down, grass is down, everything's down here. Uh, and that's what happens when time passes by is everything drops. And, uh, you know, the cows get older. So, uh, but just keep in mind, guys, the reproduction rate is here. Water, milk, total mixed ration, hay, grass, their food. Uh, their health is right here. Reproduction age is 18 months. So at 18 months, they will re they will reproduce another cow. Um, and then down here on, I hear something vibrating on my mic stand or something. I don't know what's bugging me. Uh, and then cow barn large guys, pretty much the same thing. Uh, theirs hasn't gone down so much because it's a bigger barn. There's a lot more cows in there. Uh, and then if you go down to the regular size cow barn, uh, which I think is what I set up here, but this is the cow pasture. Sorry about that, guys, that we were looking at first. Uh, the regular, the medium-sized cow barn, um, a lot of stuff has uh, dropped down as well. So that is, and their health is at 0%. I hope they don't die on me. So. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty much it for on how to manage your cattle, guys. And I do, I do want to stress one thing a lot here about these, these uh, manure heaps, okay? So in order for the manure heap to work, um, go into your store and you want to go down to other. I know I already showed you guys this, but I want to make sure you guys get this. Okay. And, and I'm, I just want to stress it to you. Go to store, go to others, and then go to construction. And in here, in here, you want to go to buildings and you want to go to silo extensions, not silos. Because if you go in silos, right, and then you go over, there's a manure heap right here. And it can, it can be very confusing. Um, to this one as it is it's pretty much exactly the same exact thing is it the same leaders and all this four million leaders but you want to go to buildings and then silo extensions and then grab this manure heap right here yeah same leader so i can see why that would be extremely extremely 
confusing uh but this is what you want the the manure heap from the silo extension so buildings silo extension manure heap right here you can also grab one of these and you can just uh you can put this down somewhere near the cow pen uh, and a lot, like again, if you go far away, it will tell you a silo extension needs to be next needs to be placed next to a silo. So it needs to be next to a silo. So a bunker silo is what it's talking about. So with that being said, guys, um, that is going to do it for this tutorial on how to manage your cattle. Um, and and again, all this stuff is still being tested by myself. Other content creators are still testing all this stuff. So next up, I'll have a I'll have a tutorial on either um, how to manage your sheep, your pigs, your horses, or we'll do one on total mixed ration. We might do one on TMR, being the fact we just did one on how to manage your cattle. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. Smash that like button for me. Click the bell and click all, so you know exactly when I post new content. Until next time, guys and girls, this is CJ Farms and one cow at a time. We are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video.